Hello again. Today we're going to be talking about Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. So let's get started. Uh, first, let's talk about why we would ever want to use this. Well, sometimes we're not really interested in the exact model um, that represents the data in a scatter plot. Um, and sometimes the scatter plot shows that the data are not actually linearly correlated. So linear regression doesn't do us any good. But what we might want to do is see if there is an upward or a downward trend with the data. So if that's the case, then what we want to use is Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. And the abbreviation for that is R sub S or R with a subscript of S. So here's how we do it. Let's go through an example. Let's say you wanted to sell lemonade during the summer and you record the average daily temperature in degrees Fahrenheit and the number of cups that you sell each day. So there's a table of the data right there for 10 days. And so if I do a linear regression, there is the set of points and the line that runs through it. And so what I notice is my Pearson's correlation coefficient is 0 0.8544. Well, what does that mean? It means that the data are not quite linear. It's not really strong enough for me to call it a linear relationship. So what I do instead is I rank the data. And all that means is that I go through each column and I replace the lowest value with the number one, um, and then the next lowest value with the number two, and so on. So I've done that with the number of cups sold. Uh, first, um, and the reason for that is because something interesting is happening with the average temperature. You'll notice that there is a tie. Uh, there are two days that had an average temperature of 73. So I can't really rank one of them higher than the other. So since they were the second lowest and the third lowest values, I'm going to average those together. And instead of ranking one of them two and the other one three, since it would be completely random anyways, I'm going to rank both of them with the same value, which is going to be the average of two and three, and that's 2.5. So now what I do is I use those ranks as my new X's and new Y's in the same order that they were before, and I completely ignore the original data. I just graph the uh, ordered pairs of the ranks uh, of the X's and Y's, and that is the scatter plot that I get. And that is the uh, line of best fit that I get. So I do a linear regression now, and what I notice is I get R equals 0 0.9483, which is much better. That is much closer to a value of 1, which would represent a perfect fit. Um, so I get a Spearman's rank correlation coefficient of 0 0.9483. And what that means is that there is a very strong upward trend, even though it might not be uh, linear. All right, so that is just how to use Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. If you have any questions about that, please let me know, and I will see you tomorrow.